Okay. Internet YouTube, welcome back to the Chevy Show. I super quick episode. I just landed back here to my place in Thailand. Sawadika. For a nigga that doesn't believe in God, thank you, Jesus, God, Buddha, Allah. I'm out of the fucking Philippines. Man, what a fucking difference. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even have a topic for the show today. I just, <laughs> I'm just grateful to be back in the land of like modern, clean shit with people that act right. God damn. Not the PI was that bad, but really when I compare it apples to apples, yeah, Thailand is much better. And I'm like, I would say like fucking at least 65%, if not more percent, maybe up to 80% happier in Thailand. You know, the land of smiles where people are friendly and not everyone is out to extort and get over on the foreigner and shit, at least not all the time. Philippines, it's like a motherfucking national sport, as one guy said to me on the bus here. Uh getting over on foreigners or whatever. And I didn't even really have that bad of an experience this time over there in PI, but it's just comparing them, man, it's just, there's no comparing the two. You know, I, I highly reckon, highly, highly, Shimmy approves this message. I highly, highly motherfucking recommend if you have to choose between Philippines and Thailand to choose Thailand. And I'm quite serious on that. Like I ain't bullshitting about anything today. But for the purposes of doing like, you know, visa runs and just exploring the rest of the world, you need you need to have something to compare things to. You know, people that have always gone to the Philippines and they've never explored other parts of Asia and shit. You know, it's you know, you, you, you have a limited view of like a frog looking up in the bottom of a well thinking that the world is only as big as the motherfucking uh, top of the well. as like Buddha or Gandhi or one of those guys said. But yeah, man, uh, fucking. Uh, Thailand's the shit, so let me recover. I look like shit now. I need to shave, shower, clean up my fucking apartment and all that stuff, and I will get back to making more episodes of The Shemmy Show, doing what I do best. Um, there is one thing that I did fuck up with, and I'll show you guys real quick. Have you guys ever read the book? Well, in school, they required me to read this book called Around the World in 80 Days. I left this motherfucking air conditioner on. Can you guys see that? Yeah, a little room air conditioner. I left that motherfucking air conditioner on the whole time I was in the Philippines, right? And this is a motherfucker because, you know, I got to pay for electricity and water here by the day. And, well, water is like 15 baht a day, but electricity is metered. So I had this AC going 24 motherfucking hours while I've been gone for all these almost a fucking at least a week or something in the Philippines or some shit like that. So. The bill's just going to be sky fucking high. And for a guy that's always like, you know, I turn off all the lights and shit when I leave, I'm like, fuck. But anyway, uh, that old that old fucking elementary school or junior high school book, Around the World in 80 Days, the story is about, I think they go in a hot air blimp or some shit, these English guys or something. And there's like a joke in the beginning of the book that the guy leaves his thermostat or his like radiator heater on while he goes around the world in 80 days. And he gets back only to realize like, oh shit, I got to pay this gigantic uh, gas or electricity bill or whatever. So that might be the dilemma I'm in right now. I left in such a hurry that I forgot to, I have two air conditioners and motherfuck, you know, what the fuck? I can't win all the time. So I'm a little clumsy sometimes, a little absent-minded or short-term memory loss, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I fucked up there and I'm going to pay the price for that when the motherfucking, uh, electric bill comes, especially if I'm on like another tier or some shit. But whatever. YOLO, you only live once, but I made a little fuck up, so that's gonna cut into my budget some more. Yeah. But anyway, I'm back. I'm back. The Shimmy Show's back. I'm back in the fucking, uh, the spot. And, uh, the beatings will continue. Yes. So stay tuned, and, uh, thanks for listening and watching my shows, and I'm sure the audio will come out much better in a room that's more <laughs> acoustically insulated and modern, and, uh, you know, PI wasn't that bad. It's just like it's it's like it's fucking destroyed in so many parts. You'll have like a nice hotel in one part, and as, as I described on some other uh, post or whatever, it looks like other parts of the city got fucking carpet bombed by fucking drones with Hellfire missiles, and nobody ever cleaned up the place. Like destroyed fucking rubble everywhere, and nobody seems to mind or care that it's fucking destroyed. It's weird, you know. Here, people sweep the streets in front of the shops, water the flowers, and I don't know, it just seemed like the Thai people just seem to care a little more about where they're at. You know, Filipinos tend to, from my 
observations. They wanted to just get the fuck out of there as quickly as possible rather than cleaning up and improving their own situation there. You know, it seems like Thai people are content. They love their country. They love their king. They love everything here. And it's a beautiful place because of that. And, uh, yeah, P.I., they just want to fucking escape it, it seems. So, I don't know. That's my opinion. Watch my older show about hypergamy and this and that and the other. But, I mean, realistically, a life lesson is no matter what part of the world you live in, not dragging this out too long, but no matter what part of the world you live in, you can make in minor little improvements day by day to make your own little world better. You know, you shouldn't always want to fucking abandon a place just even though I'm happy to be gone from there right now. But if I lived in the Philippines, I would do my best to try to make my situation better. I'd at least paint my fucking house, sweep the fucking floors, clean up some of the rubble, and uh, try to make my own little personal area, like, you know, tidy and fucking cool and shit. But I mean... Motherfuckers there seem like they just don't really want to lift a finger unless it's to extort someone like me or preferably another white foreigner. You know, I'm like last or low on the list of exploitation or whatever. But still, it's an interesting mindset that I've observed there. So uh, anyway, Thailand's a shit. Gets my vote and uh, should be approved this message. More shows to come later. I got to get showered, cleaned up, shaved, clean the house. Today's a motherfucking clean up day. So once all that shit's taken care of, I'm back on it. Peace and hair grease. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Bye. Like, join, subscribe, etc., etc., etc. Thailand's the shit. Bye.